Lexus of Stevens Creek presents the Volunteer Award each week. This award leads to $10,000 in scholarships given out at the end of the year. Tonight, Allie Williams introduces us to the Carondelet Girls Lacrosse team and how they've combined two of their community service clubs into one big event. Through the struggles of the past year, three members of the Carondelet lacrosse team have been a bright spot in so many lives, doing whatever they can to help those in need. When COVID-19 shut down schools and sports last spring, it was hard enough for many student athletes to adjust to their season's early end. But three lacrosse players at Carondelet turned their shortened season into an opportunity to serve others. Isabella Varan, Grace Mazaleski, and Margaret Gallagher are juniors on Carondelet Lacrosse, but they formed a deeper bond through their community work, and each has her own extensive volunteering history. Grace gives leadership talks to younger girls, something she is thankful to pay forward. You're able to get these talks about different like virtues and like leadership skills. We're able to tie that in with like the Catholic faith, kind of. I grew up getting those talks, so I thought it would be like a good idea to start giving back to them in high school. And then I'm also a counselor at uh, Camp Monticello. I'll host like activities and we'll all just like work together. And then something I like to do more regularly is uh, White Pony Express. So we do there, we just like sort through foods, which are then donated. Grace formed Carondelet's Athletic Service Club with Isabella, who tutors and works with the Monument Crisis Center in Concord. Starting about last year during um, August, I started working with the Monument Crisis Center. I previously um, donated there and like volunteered there, but I started um, doing volunteer work at the after school program where I tutored students two to three times a week. And then I also um, online tutor students during COVID and they're um, students of healthcare workers who need to be in the hospital so they can't like be at home while their kids are learning. The Athletic Service Club, me and Bella Isabella started last year. Sports have been such a huge part of my life and Grace's and just kind of our families who we've grown up playing every sport there is. So seeing and hearing um, that some kids don't have that opportunity, I kind of wanted to do something about that. So I talked to Grace and she was kind of thinking similarly. When the shelter in place order began in late March, the Athletic Service Club began collecting clothes and donations for the Monument Crisis Center and those struggling during the pandemic. And we collected over 80 bags of donations, so that was awesome to be able to do. Margaret finds purpose in helping the homeless. She and her mom serve those in need in Berkeley, and she formed her own club to further her cause. I'm the leader of the Hearts for the Homeless Club at Condolette, and I lead it with one of my other friends. So the first project that we did was a sock and toiletry drive. Then in the summer, the other leader and I collected um, feminine products. Like for this project, we worked with the Dorothy Day House in Berkeley as well. And so we collected pads and tampons and like any other like feminine products because like it is a consistent battle and like they're not cheap. If you have to choose between like a meal, it shouldn't be something that you have to like fight for. Margaret, Isabella and Grace decided to combine the volunteer powers of their two clubs and form a major donation drive with sanitizer, masks and sports balls. They also plan to create training videos to help kids get more active. It's an effort that has taken months of planning. So that stuff, we were just like, why not combine efforts and like just make it like one big thing and even bring it to the school and see if people who aren't even in either of the clubs would want to um, work on it. So we are going to be filming the videos first every um, about two weeks we'll set out new videos and they are just training videos made by um, our club members so they're Carondelet students. Last month while preparing for such a big donation drive the girls also made time to help others with some holiday spirit. Over Christmas we did the adopt a family we're super last minute um, I saw some families in my neighborhood and like surrounding neighborhoods who um, weren't going to be able to give their kids Christmas gifts this year and it was kind of heartbreaking so we reached out to our team and within a day we we're able to get um, over $200 in donations that were able to go out and buy gifts for kids. The girls have had to adjust to the ebbs and flows of COVID regulations, but they are excited to begin collecting and assembling their donation packages. There's been like so many people we need to contact and forms we need to fill out and just being able to hopefully soon finally get it off the ground and get it going. I think it's going to be so nice to see all the joy on the like kids faces. They held an event at Chipotle to raise funds for their masks, sanitizer and balls. 
They've picked up bins from the Monument Crisis Center and will put together and distribute their donations this month. They're hoping for more in-person meetings after the pandemic. It's awesome that we're able to do so much already, but it's kind of like we want to get it like going. We want to like meet these kids, which we aren't going to be able to do um, in person until maybe next year. We're not sure yet, hopefully. The girls are grateful to share their love of sports and service. It is great. I love it. I feel like um, it's brought the three of us closer together, too, because being on the same team is just like when you play a sport with someone, you have that like connection and that bond that you guys are like working for the same thing. But then when you're serving with them too, and you're also like helping other people together, and then you're friends with them, it's just like it's great. And we've all been raised to want to give back to the community, and it's so nice to know that my friends have this same um, background as me, and that they want to give back, and that it's more than just a teammate. They're a real lifelong friend. I think it's something that's just kind of in me and in my friends, which I'm so blessed to have friends like that. Um, and I really just get out like the joy that help, like I see in others of being able to help them or do the little things that make their day. They look forward to getting back out on the field with the rest of their lacrosse team. But until then, they'll keep working together to help their community. The Monument Crisis Center continues to take donations, and Grace, Isabella, and Margaret are preparing their gift bags and donation packages to be distributed as soon as it's safe. Aubrey and Robert, back to you.